This is day in the life of homeschooling my kids for two weeks during COVID. Time for school. So these days, Shyla sleeps with Riza in his bed because he gets scared at night. Uh, so she's been sacrificing and sleeping with him. As much as they want to stay in pajamas, we don't let them. We told them they have to get ready like they're going to regular school. So the days vary, but today I'm just giving them some cereal to get the day started. Raisin Bran and Cheerios. And then this is a quick schedule that I just wrote, put together um, for Shyla and for Riza, how I want the day to go. I mean, if your is off a little bit, that's okay, but this is generally it, the schedule I have in place. Yeah. So we're just starting off with Riza reading a book. He's going to read to me. He's doing really well. Six years old, he's doing pretty well. Is it snow I like to play? Why do you want me to read chapter? The, the, the type is right. Good. Because the, mommy, you are a chapter mommy. age now. Mommy, mommy, I know, but I can't look at Mommy. Kyla's school offers a digital online library, so she's going through and picking some books out that she likes to read. Now I'm having Riza draw a picture of what he did over the weekend, and he has to write uh, one sentence with proper punctuation and um, grammar. 10 a.m. they start their gym class so here i have a youtube video i put on and i have them follow along with the exercises and it's about uh, 25 minutes or 30 minutes depending on which video we've put on for the day every day there's a different assignment to complete so today shyla is working on the territories and provinces of canada and she has to list them with capital cities and color them in and Riza is working on a workbook that I actually bought from the store myself. You can get these at Costco or you can get them at Chapters Indigo um, or you can even get them online from Amazon and stuff. Um, but these are really good. They help the kids really learn how to count and things like that. So um, Riza is working on that until lunchtime. Now the moment these guys have been waiting all morning for lunch. I have a cheeseburger. It's a jello pack and a juice box for these guys today for lunch. And I give them about one and a half hours for lunch just because I have to give Myra, like I have to give her a nap and stuff. So I need a little time in between. So they get about an hour and a half for lunch before we start working again. Let's go to a center called Kumon. I believe it started in Korea and other centers all over the world, but it's very beneficial, especially in the maths. So our our kids go to these centers. So I have them doing their Kumon homework in between their schoolwork as well, right after lunch. And now Shaila is finishing up an assignment, my goals for 2021. And she wrote a rough copy and you can see in red, I made corrections and then now she's rewriting a good copy. And then they get some free choice time. So Shyla is doing some hand printed artwork here. And then this is actually a clip from the next day. We did a science experiment where we had to grow eggshell crystal geodes using salt and some other things. So this is what we were putting together today and you can see uh, it's growing. And now tonight's dinner, finally after a day of full studies, we are having baked stuffed chicken with a cheese, basil, tomato sauce, and some healthy salad and corn. Their bedtime is 8.30. They have to be in bed. Even if they don't fall asleep, they got to be in bed by 8.30. And now it's some one-on-one -on -one time, me and my husband. I'm getting my cappuccino and espresso, and we're going to sit down. And mostly we watch a TV show or a movie, but today it is test cricket <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please leave a comment and like the video and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching